Earthbenders, Tesori and Virgo and Capricorn, welcome into your spiritual nourishment. I am your shaman empress, aka the shaman hummingbird. Okay, Earthbenders, let's see your weekend check in peak. It what is coming towards you. We do got that full moon in Cancer. Okay, so this um is real, real big. If you have a Cancer placement, Cancer is the fourth house. is all about family. So I like to say um the full moon energies and what they represent so we can also get the planet alignment because that also has a lot to do of how the readings are come, come out and how they are coming out. So these are readings that once, you know, is going towards people rebuilding a lot of relationships if you notice we're also in that retrograde energy coming back in wanting to rebuild with you regret not building with you baby's dad baby's mama people popping up you also cancer building on a higher vibration attracting um some of you guys might be meeting people getting into new partnerships okay things like that or knowing who your partner is and ready to take these kind of leap of faiths all right that's the energy that's coming out here um this could even be like like re, a lot of people wanting to reunite with their twin flames and um you know a lot of this we in a new world order we're in year seven all these things are happening okay so you know as i always say i don't want to make this video too long but you know um as above so below so new rules and a new world order is the same thing in the spirituality all the old spells the old ways of doing things have disintegrated it doesn't work it doesn't apply okay that's kind of why these karmics keep doing spells keep why do you think there's they're constantly doing magic because you have to constantly do a spell okay it's it's you it. child but you know all right let's go ahead all right okay so just keep in mind under this full moon energy be careful because Honey, that's what they do sometimes under these moons, child. Mental spells, verbal spells, literally spell work, okay? Messages for earthbenders. All right, so that could be something specific on your message here. So if the magic card comes out, maybe that's why I was led to this deck. We will see. All right, guys. All right, let's see. Mm. All right, so we have the, so this one to show. Okay, yeah, DK. All right, I was just talking about this, right? Okay, King of Pentacles. Yep, Emperor. Someone here wants to rekindle something. Is what I, the energy is what I'm picking up here? Um, yeah, Four of Pentacles. Yeah, the Moon. I was just talking about the full moon. This energy could be coming in over the full moon. This is someone here. Um, they've been holding on to your energy. They don't want this to end. They like this energy that you guys have. They don't want this energy to end here. Yeah, they see you as a queen of cups. This is someone that's even willing to sneak back in or they want to. They're even willing to do this through a third party energy if they got to. Yeah, honey, the four of ones. They want this connection. And the two of swords is here. Ooh. Temperance in reverse. Yeah, because there's no balance here. Yeah. Okay. That's why. This is someone... Um, they, okay. Let's see what this snake is about. Mm -hmm. Let's see what this snake is about. What's the snake? If, okay, so Earthbenders, this is you or this person that you feel like um, snaked you or you could have snaked. Maybe you want to talk to this person again with the um, snake energy and a two swords. This could have been a mind game, a mental spell being played here. Let's see what the, um, what is that? What's that? Yeah, King of Swords. Okay. Okay, yeah. This is Seven of Wands. So someone here cut you, um, cut, you could have cut this person off after a fight, after an argument. I heard block. You could have blocked this person. Yeah, you did. And you moved on. Or this is what this person did to you. Dot your own ass and cross your T's. You know where you are in there. Yep. And this is someone that wants to come back towards you. Chariot. Point blank. Period. This is Metro Retrograde. Like I said, and you might hear other readers say this, you pay attention to the energies and alignments of the planets. So when we were doing readings and we say, you know, we are in retro Retrograde. Yes, that's the planet alignment. This is someone here. And a lot of the readings, that's what we're getting. 
Um, they you want to get a, and see a lot of that energy. This is an alpha energy. This is an emperor, brother. This is an alpha female or a man. This is someone that is willing to sneak in. Now, be careful of this person using third party energies to sneak back in. Um, here because someone here could be um fake profiling, catfishing energy is what I'm picking up here with the uh three of cups and the two of swords. Um, here you know, you might not, you know, be, be careful. This is someone that could also be um, people on you here through um different like pro just looking you up here i heard friends list yeah thank you holy spirit now with the cherry and the four of ones this person if they know where you live if you're resonating with that this person is driving past your home you might think that you might know that okay i want to see um why is temperance in reverse? Yeah. But I tell you, mental spell work, five of swords, aqua air and energy. Cancer, Virgo, Aqua Arian, Cancerian, Aries is here, Libran, Sagittarian. Yep, the nine of swords. This person is a child. Yeah, they're worried. There's someone here and they're stuck in their hair. They're worried. Child, this person is worried to death about you having a new store, a new start. Mm -hmm. But this is an a, a emperor that uh, views you as their queen of cups. Queen of cups energy is love and nur nurturing partner. Like I said, whether you're a man or a woman here. Can I see the queen of cups? Let's take a look at you. Then we're going to look at this emperor real quick. What's this? This person is sneaking by your house. Oh my gosh. Yeah, the queen of cups and the king of cups. I saw I told you, I heard, we not metro retrograde energy. This person wants a relationship with you, the king and queen of cups. And this picture, there's family around. You know, this is someone here. They might even have crazy family members. You know, <laughs> you know, people they chill with, kick it with, but they feel like you are a part of that. They want a new beginning with you. With the page of cups and the queen of cups is here. Someone here even want a baby with your child. You know, that metro retrograde will get your ass. Not that, not that I'm saying that you don't deserve this, but this will bring this is coming out of this person because this is what they feel it will bring it out of that person um yep mm -hmm. the death card here but y'all ain't talking nope and this could be because of rumor gossip this could even be because of family gossip here as well because i just heard that what's the kick thank you i mean the emperor <laughs> thank you Holy Spirit. yeah mm-hmm we got the five of swords in reverse. I told you someone here, um, yeah, whatever's happening, whatever they planning, haven't been working so far here. Yeah, the queen of swords in reverse and the chariot. For some of you guys, it have that's why they're being sneaky. That's also the seven of swords because their plan or what they thought they may have planned or had is not working. You're not with it. You 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 got a nasty attitude right now. This is also someone here that could have a nasty attitude is because of their ego. This is not working. This is someone that has to be more humble here. Yeah. And the thing is, they don't want to. Show me that. Thank you. Uh-huh. That's the problem. That's the imbalance. It's this person's ego. Yep. This uh, someone here. Yeah, I told you, this is gossip. This is petty gossip. Yeah, Six of Pentacles. There was some gossip here. Let's see what the damn gossip was. What was the gossip? Someone here is mad because they believed a, a lie or a, go a gossip about you. Point blank, period. What was the five of ones? Oh, yeah, yeah. Someone here could have told this person that they were a fool for messing with you, stupid for messing with you. Um, I just heard silly rabbit tricks are for kids. This is someone here that believes 
yeah, they're they're like this is this person is mad at their yep, mad at their self here. Yeah, the moon card. See, and the thing is, they never told you. Yep, they just blocked you and kept it moving, kept it pushing. Is what I heard. Yep, Knight of Pentacles. They could have slowly slowed up connection with you. Slowly stopped talking. Yep, Six of Swords. And the magician, they yep, three of cups. And this person went into another partnership too. And for some of you guys, hell yeah, they did. Yep, another sexual ass relationship. And that's what's worrying them. Yep, because the Herman in reverse, they took this bad advice and they manifested a whole karmic relationship. Yep. Oh, yeah, and here come the page because the emperors are dead. This is someone that definitely been in a grief and sorrow that they do want to talk to you. For some of you guys, this person manifested a karmic relationship with the karmic and had a child or they also had a child. I want to see something else on this. Show me something else. Hold on, y'all. They are want me to switch decks. I got to do my job, child. Okay. This one. All right. Look, give me something else. Give me something more on the situation. Mm. Yeah. Mm -hmm. Yeah. For some of you guys, you're, you're walking away. Yeah. So, Fox in reverse. It, it, and whatever they plan, I told you, it didn't work. Yep. Lovers in reverse. Here. Yep. It didn't work. This is uh, what I tell you. Mm, my Damn mother. It, not again. This is someone who has a baby mama stork energy. Children. A child, a baby mama. And this car and this deck, the stork and the two kids. You see these other two kids by the stork? They match as a family. This kid is opposite in a separate cut, the cut in a separate nest. It looked different and even the color is different. Someone here could have went through, uh, is, could be with someone from a different ethnic background. There's different ethnicities here. And someone here had a baby by someone that already had children, whether this is a man or a woman. Queen or King of Cups here as well. And that's what happened. Yep, they started a whole new family tree. Mm -hmm. Yep. Yep, yep. And now they, yes, yeah, 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 yeah. Mm, mm, mm -hmm. And for some, child, and for some of you guys, someone here could even be expecting it again. There's two children here as well. That's absolutely insane, damn it. Now let's see what this person's feelings and emotion is towards you since this bullshit didn't happen. And that was insane. Hold on, I'm seeing something. Wait a minute. Uh-uh. Let me see that. What is that? They just shut me something. Let me see. Mm. Yeah, uh-huh. Now this person wants to be creative and tell you the truth, but they're going to lie a little bit about what they've been doing with their time and they got their money and they got their cup. The decisions that they made here with the King of Cups and the Two of Ones being here. Uh-huh, what's this? Yep, because they've been fucking around and they have been having sex. Uh, yep, Eight of Cups since they walked away from you and juggling um, back and forth in this connection. And for some of you guys, they could have been juggling back and forth with this person. Yep, Knight of Wands, period. Believe what you see. You look like a shit show. Yep, and fucking apologize. This person looks like a shit show. Um, someone here, um, you know, like I said, this person has been looking you up, um, wa um, watching you, I just heard. Like I said, someone here is like catfishing you. Like could be watching you through um, like a family's profile or something like that here. But, um, and, you know, the thing is, they feel fucked up. They feel like they should apologize because they see something different than what they heard. And they told you, they basically told you that you do you, or that's the energy they gave you. And now they're obsessed. You are not the fucking center of your universe, and they're mad about it. Mm -hmm. Yep. Child, I can't make it up. In reverse, put the fucking phone down. I turned the deck up. Over. Yeah. Yeah, honey. Uh-huh. Yep, get some fucking sleep. And they ain't sleeping. They don't want you to know none of this. Period. Ugh. Earthbenders. Yep, detox. Because you detoxed. And they see you as detoxing from the situation. Now let's see what this person wants to tell you. Okay, 
four, nine, four. Yep, is your, is your, oh, I said holy number. Okay, is your holy number, is your angel number? Four, nine, four is an angel number that the angels are with you, supporting you, encouraging you, guiding you towards along your soul's path. This person could be praying to be guided towards you here. Um, the chariot in the full energy is here. Okay. You know, I'm here. Um, you know, they... The angels could even be trying to help you guys out with the situation here. Um, there's angelic energy here. Temperance is here. And temperance is in reverse here. Um, but, yeah. You know, this person. You are my lucky charm. Since I met you, I've manifested all sorts of things. And that's what I teach about energy on this channel. That's why you, and once you really start learning about energy, you're really going to be picking on who you give yourself to your body really is a temple and it is very sacred and when you are you know manifesting in high vibrations and you share that energy with someone you you're they're going to be able to manifest in high vibration it's y'all's energy is off of y'all's frequency period um and that's just that's it that's how that goes like um, and that's why when you are with an energy vampire, you know, they like people with high vibrations, women with, or men with high qualities. And you like, how you want to sleep with all these people? And you don't even have your shit together because they can manifest off that energy, whether they realize they're doing that or not. They're going to take your energy and manifest off of it because they don't have it for themselves. They ain't going to give you nothing. They, somebody can't, they can't give you energy they don't have. So if they need something you have, they're going to take it. That also goes with energy. Also sexual energy. It's all energy. It's all energy. Always remember that. And remember when you're selling your, your soul for cheap. You're giving all your beautiful energy away. Being sucked out of you. Your solar plexus. And your person or the person you're connecting with, you're in love with, manifests off of it. And they're, they're in a third party situation and they're giving that good vibe, that good energy they manifested off to somebody else. That happens all the time. Some some men can't even, some women can't even be in a relationship without a, a third party or their relationship without a third party. And they don't know why they need counseling, mental counseling. No, it's spiritual counseling you need. Damn it, I'm so pissed off. And some and it's it's something to ask your divine counterpart to be there with you to manifest off their energy to help them be there with a fucking karmic. Uh, damn it. Your body is a piece of art and your soul is a piece of heaven. Point blank period. I can't um wait to see you again. Your honesty and vulnerability scares me and allures me at the same time. Um, thank you for being so patient with me. Okay. And for some of you guys that nurture energy, which is the Queen of Cups, then that was your confirmation here. Is nurturing, is loving, is healing. Healing energy will lift up your vibration. Yeah. That and this is what this person is noticing. And when you're in healing vibration and when you're in a high vibration, you're good at you're better at your job. You're better at your work. You're better with your family. It's, it works opposite, just like when you're in low vibration. Especially when you are down with your person, you guys aren't connecting. You're in a low vibration. You're in a low mood. You got to watch your mood around the work, kids. Like little things will, you know, piss you off because, you know, you're in that low energy of being upset. You know what I'm saying? Damn it. I'm so pissed off. All right. Yeah. And it, it, you'll be, it pisses you off. Okay, let's get some overall messages here. Yeah. What's the overall messages for the collective for the earth benders? Yep, union. This this union of divine soul counterparts is a miraculous event that begins when you least expect it. And this is what this person did not expect. At all. Temptation and bond. Mm -hmm. This is very tempting to them. Yep, because they've been hit with a damn Cupid feeling. And they have learned. Yep, this is Twin Flames. Mm -hmm. That's why I was saying what I was saying. 
All right. Let's pull a love oracle message. We'll get you guys an oracle message. Wrap it on up for the earth benders. Keep in mind these are timeless readings, guys. So whenever you are receiving this message, you're supposed to see it, guys. It just starts this weekend. Okay. Forgiving and learning. I can't make this up. That already kind of came out there. Yeah, let your friends help you. I told you. And for some of you guys, you know, <laughs> they're watching you. Their friends is helping you. Their friends list. I heard friends list. There's a friend list. They could be like friends with a family member, something like that. Yeah. Mm -hmm. Wedding. This is a strong connection. This is also could be like, a you know, just a strong connection, like Commonwealth kind of marriage situation. This could lead to a marriage because for some of you guys, there's not a twin flame card, but the twin flame cards came out and we got soulmates here, period. So this is this kind of energy. Let's get your Oracle message. What are the Oracle messages for the collective? For the earth fingers? Goat, indulgence, and love spell. <laughs> love spell. Let the honey of your soul swell in the depths of love. Honey, someone here, you know, this person feels like, damn, did you cast a spell on me? <laughs> Someone here, nah, it, it, this this is like a love spell. You know, um, this person's attracted to you. Yeah, go. Fearless, I am in the path of chosen for. I've never been led astray, always finding my way. Mm -hmm. Right back to you, indulgence. Now, we are under this cancer full moon. So, earth signs, be careful. Someone could be trying to do a love spell on you, honey. Could they, this person, someone here could be tempted to do a love spell. Under this full moon. Child, we got stone circles and ribbons. In ceremonies, you conjure a devotion so deeply it reflects the worship and to enjoy. Uh-uh. And honey, someone here is doing a love spell. So, uh, earthbenders, be careful. This person might want to do a love spell on you. Now, under this full moon, that's what I was talking about. Yeah. Love, family, child. Honey, please be careful, honey. They doing love spells, child. They doing love spells. Now, it's all energy, guys. You know, um, but this is someone here that's literally, uh-uh. No. No, 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 Yeah. And as soon as I was about to say this, the goat with the third eye, the honey, the love spell, the stone circle. Someone here could even be like doing animal sacrificing as well. Yeah, indulgence. Yeah. Some of you guys, you might need to take your spiritual baths here. All right. There's different spiritual baths you can look up if you feel like you're under some kind of spell. We are in that metro retrograde energy, guys. Please be careful. Yeah, Taurus, you could. There you go, Earthbenders. Yeah, Venus. Yeah. Gemini is here. And we have Sagittarian. You can have any of those signs in your um, Venus. Or 8th house, we have Scorpio here. Just be careful because this person wants you. They fit, This is a twin flame soulmate energy. Or this is someone that could have did a love spell on your twin flame, on your soulmate. And this is why. Oh my gosh. And the spell broke. Yes. Because this is a contract. That's what I was talking about before, earlier, about as so above and so below. Yes. Venus, the planet of love. Someone here did a love spell, honey. And that shit broke because you got a contract. Jupiter guards contract. You have a contract with this person. Yes, honey. This backfired. The, um, Virgo, that's the house of health here, honey. You child. Woo! Here go the moon, honey. Yes! Oh, my God. The, the Jupiter again in the sun. We done here. God just stepped in, child. On the twin and the soulmates. There's contracts here. It'll only go by so far. I, I, I said that. That's why you have to continue to continuously do spells. There's a love spell here that is broken. Damn! 
And this person, it is, yep. They know that. Here they come. Yep. This person's been said about them. This is what they're, yep. And now they want to talk to you. Eight of Wands. Mmm. All right. Now we got that out the way. This house is clear. I love you, Earthbenders. I hope you have an amazing and safe, dope-ass weekend. Don't forget to like, subscribe, share, comment down below. That's you tuning in energetically and keeping your frequency tuned in on this channel. So we are coming in. Your messages are prepared and ready to go. Whether part of this message resonates with you or the full message, this is still a general message. Okay, guys, so always keep that in mind. Also, don't forget to take advantage of hitting that link for your Sun, Moon, Rising, Venus, and North Node energies. Okay, guys, um, so you're getting your full messages. Those are your major placements. All right, guys, so if you are an earth sign, and let's say you find out that your um, rising sign is an uh, air sign, then you need to also watch the Airbender Weekend videos and also... Uh, air sign video that that's in if it's Geminian then it that means that you will be right um excuse me that you will be watching the Geminian readings I love you stay dope that could be an omen for someone next video upload I'll share in a month